Welcome to Zulua Consultants. In this video, we want to look at how we perform calculations under parallel circuits. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on the Facebook page. So when it comes to parallel circuits, there are four points that one needs to know. The first one is the total current is equal to the current in the first resistance plus the current in the second resistance. So if you have the current in the first resistance, you add with the current in the second resistance, it gives us the current that is passing through the main circuit. The second point is the EMF, which is the electromotive force or the potential difference that is on the cell is equal to the voltage passing in the first resistance, which is again equal to the voltage passing in the second resistor. The third point is the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the reciprocal of the first resistance plus the reciprocal of the second resistance. Last but not the least, we need to know the Holmes law that tells us that the resistance is directly proportional to the potential difference or the voltage and inversely proportional to the current. Let us see how we use these four points to answer different questions under parallel circuits. So we have an example of this circuit that has the first resistor having one resistance, then the second resistor having three ohms as the resistor there. So let's look at the first question. They have asked us to find the total resistance. So how do you calculate the total resistance? When you look at these uh, equations here, you have equation 3 and equation 4. So equation 3 and equation 4 features resistance, but we need to choose which of the two equations can we use. You will notice that we cannot use equation 4 because we do not have the current that is passing through the main circuit. Hence, we'll settle for equation 3. So let's get equation 3. It is saying 1 over the total resistance is equal to 1 over resistor 1 plus 1 over resistor 2. So 1 over resistor, total resistance is equal to 1 over resistor 1 as 1 ohm, then plus resistor 2 as 3 ohms. So here we can get the common denominator. The common denominator will be 3. 1 into 3 gives us 3 times multiplied by 1 gives us 3 plus 3 into 3 is 1 multiplied by 1 gives us 1. So we have 1 over R is equal to 3 plus 1, which is 4 over 3. At this point, we want to remain with R as the numerator. So we cross multiply, then we'll have 4 R is equal to 3. So you divide with 4, you divide with 4. These two, they will simplify. R is equal to 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 is same as 0 0.75. So knowing that this is resistance, we are saying the total resistance then is 0 0.75 ohms. So this becomes the total resistance, and we can even put it here as the information that we need, 0 0.75 ohms. We can be asked to find the potential difference that is passing through the first resistor and passing through the second resistor. How do we answer this one? We have to remember point two as the main factor that can help us to find the potential difference passing through the two resistors. Point two tells us that the EMF is equal to V1, which is also equal to V2. So this simply means if our EMF in this question is 12 volts, then the potential difference of V1 should also be 12 volts because of this point. 
This is the same again with the second point because the EMF is the same as the voltage that is passing through different components. The PD again will be 12 volts in 3 ohms. So this is how we get the potential difference. In parallel circuits, the potential difference is the same at any point of the circuit. The next point we would like to look at is for us to calculate the current that is passing through the one ohm resistor. Now for us to calculate the current passing through this point, we need to select which equation we can use. We can possibly use equation 1 or equation 4. Now when you look at equation 1, for us to use it, we should have the total current and the other current so that we do the subtraction. So we cannot use this uh, equation, hence we will settle for Ohm's law. Now, for us to use the Ohm's law easily, we will use a triangle that helps us know how to use the Ohm's law. So we will put resistance here, voltage there, then current there. So this question is helping us to find current. So we simply close where current is. So if we close where current is, we are saying current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So we get the information about our question. The resistance in question is one ohm resistor. Then the voltage, the previous question helped us to understand that the voltage is the same at any point in the parallel circuit. So our voltage is 12. So let's divide the two. Uh, 12 volts divided by 1 ohm. Then the current will be 1 into 12 gives us 12 amps. So this becomes the current that is passing through the first component. So we can even put the information here that I1 is equal to 12 amps. The next question is for us to find the current that is passing through the 3 ohm resistor. So again when we close current, we are having that current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So when we get the information regarding this question, the resistance that we have been given is 3 ohms. And then the voltage, we remember the point that the voltage in parallel circuit does not change, so we still have 12 volt as the voltage there. So let's get the current. The current will be equal to 12 volts divided by the resistance is 3 ohms. So the current will be equal to uh, 3 into 12, it gives us 4 amps. So this becomes the current that is passing through the 3 ohm resistor. So we can even put here to say I2 is equal to 4 amps. Last but not the least, they can ask us to find the total current that is passing through the cell. So how do we get the total current that is passing through the cell here? We have two options. The first option is using equation 1, where we have current, which is total current, is equal to current 1 plus current 2. We are from finding that current 1 is 12 amps and current 2 is 4 amps. So this gives us the total current, so total current is equal to 12 plus 4, which is 16 amps. So this is the first option we can use to calculate the total current. The second option is using the Ohm's law. Now, if we are using the Ohm's law, we are calculating current, we will say current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So we need to use the total voltage the total voltage in this circuit is 12 volts. Then what is the total resistance? The total resistance was calculated as 0 0.75. So 
0 0.75 ohms. So when you divide uh, 0 0.75 into 12, again it gives you 16 amps. So either you use this option or the second option, you get the same number which is 16 amps.